I can't believe it. Microsoft Teams now has breakout rooms on this episode of EdTech in the Classroom. Hello, everybody, and welcome to EdTech in the Classroom. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and I am so excited today because we are about to share with you guys a brand new feature to Microsoft Teams. That's right. Today, we're talking all about breakout rooms, that little feature that every single Microsoft 365 school district has been waiting for all summer long. It is finally here. And in this video, we're going to walk you through everything to get started, to get used in Microsoft Teams breakout rooms. And we're also going to give you guys some of our tips and tricks on making breakout rooms safe and secure for your hybrid learning environment. So stick around today and let's jump right in to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here we are in Microsoft Teams. And the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have breakout rooms enabled. Now, Microsoft Teams breakout rooms are available if you're on a Windows PC or a Mac, and you wanna make sure that you're using the application, not available yet for the uh, online version. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna come up and make sure we have the right updated version of Teams. I'm gonna click over here on my face, and then over here, I'm gonna click into settings. And the first setting I wanna make sure that I have is this checkbox here that says, turn on new media meeting experiences. Now, once you do that, you're going to want to make sure that you turn this off, shut down Teams, bring it back up. If you haven't done that, make sure you take that first step. The next thing you want to do to make sure that you've got access to this is to click back over here and go to check for updates. Now, this, when you do, is going to come up saying we're going to check and install any updates. It might take a couple seconds, and then it might even ask if it wants to reset Teams go through that. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to open up a Teams meeting. Now, doesn't matter if you do this through the channel, doesn't matter if you do this through a chat, doesn't matter if you do this through the calendar, all the same stuff. Once you have breakout rooms enabled, this is the way to do it. We're going to click over here on meet and we're going to open up a new meeting. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to name this and we're going to click on join now. Now, before we get to that, we want to make sure that we're setting things up the right way for a safe experience. You can see over here, we have our camera turned on or off. I'm going to keep it off for this demo. Over here, we have our microphone. You also want to make sure that you're on the right microphone. So I'm going to make sure I come over here to custom setup under audio devices. I'm going to make sure I've got my microphone for all of these different experiences. Now, you're going to notice over here that it says, add a room and you might be going yeah not that yet okay we're gonna not, this is not breakout rooms this is something where if you've got a multiple uh, microsoft devices you can stream into different rooms with different not what we're working with yet let's talk about this we're gonna hit join and now here we are in a Microsoft Teams meeting. You're going to notice something's a little bit different up here. There's a special button we're going to talk about. Let's go through all these features together because we want to make sure not only do we understand breakout rooms, but all of the features of Teams meetings to make sure that you have a safe environment to teach from. First things first, over here is our participants. We can show or hide. Okay, this is going to show us all the people in our meeting. I want to right now introduce new people into this meeting. This could be students. I'm going to uh, add a member right now to this group. Okay, so you'll see that I'm now calling this other account. And so now I have two people in this meeting. This is myself and this is our guest. Now, you'll notice a couple things in here. All right, so here we are in our meeting. You see we have my, myself as the organizer. We have our guests. If I click on the ellipsis or these three dots, I can spotlight my different people. So in other words, spotlighting would be only see this person, okay? If you have a guest speaker or you wanna showcase one of your students. So you can click on spotlight me or over here, I can pin somebody. If I've got 30 kids in the class, I can pin just the one. I can spotlight them. I can make them an attendee 
or I can remove them from the meeting. So these are some of the settings over here. I also want to check down here these three dots. I can say don't allow attendees to unmute. I want to check that. Manage my permissions and download attendance list. First of all, a couple things. The attendance list is only available inside of the meeting. Once you jump in and once you jump out, doesn't work. So make sure if you're going to be grabbing your attendance, you do it from inside that meeting. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click on a couple options over here. We talked about participants, conversations. Every meeting is a chat conversation. I can come over here and hit hello. And now I've got a chat meeting started. We're also going to notice in Teams afterwards, this is going to be uh, continuous throughout the day, even after our meeting's over. But of course, we can add all of these different things. We can even add GIFs. We can add emojis, stickers. We can even schedule another meeting from inside of this meeting. Pretty powerful stuff over here in the chat. Notice also, I'm going to raise my hand. It has the little one over here. I can see me, that I have raised my hand, and I can lower my hand. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is what we've all been looking for, security features. If I click over here under more options, I can see my device settings, which is going to again show you my microphone, my speaker, my audio device. If I click down here into meeting options, I want to hit this first before we talk about the other options with breakout rooms. We've got a couple meeting options here. First thing, who can bypass the lobby? I've got a couple options. Everybody, meaning even before I get here, people can show up into my meeting. Don't recommend that. People in my organization or trusted organizations or people in my organization and guests. These are pretty much the same thing if you're dealing with students because they're all inside your organization. For me, I always change my meetings to only me. Again, this means that my students can't get in without me being there. I have to let them all in. Next thing, callers. Let's say that you have somebody making a phone call. You can say on or off. I always leave that off. Next thing over here is announcing when callers join in. Yes, I want to know people are in the waiting room. Next thing, anybody here who can present, right? Everybody can present. I don't want that. Um, people in my organization, that's your students. Specific people, you can say, okay, I only want this student or this presenter in. That's there. And then the last thing here is the only me feature. I always do that. So only me. Allow attendees to unmute. No. If I mute a student, I want that student muted. So I'm going to hit save. So again, I've set up my security settings so that way students can't come in without me dealing with them. Um, now, the next thing is over here, I've got my meeting notes. Let's click on that real quick. I've got my meeting notes and your meeting notes are really like a, a, a document where multiple people can be uh, writing on this at the same time. Could be an agenda, could be a lesson, could be uh, anything. These are also great to use for breakout rooms. But let's jump back into our meetings. The next thing over here we're going to look at is our gallery view. Now, you might see gallery, large view, together mode. Check out some of these options. I know that Teams is now offering different backgrounds for together mode, but we don't see those yet because we only have one other person in our Teams. You can see we've got full screen access, our background effects. We can change these all around or we can blur. And don't forget, you can always add your new background effects. So you can do customized ones. And yep, so can your students. All right. So before we go through everything here, two more quick features. Number one, live captions. Pretty darn cool with this, right? You're going to notice at the bottom, not only do you have captions, but it's also showing who is making those captions. So if you've got multiple people talking in a room, you're going to be able to see who is making those captions. And then finally down here, we've got our recording. Now, anytime I make a recording in Teams right now in 2020, this is going to be saved in Microsoft Stream. We've got a lot of videos on Microsoft Stream, so we're going to make sure that we leave the, the notes and the links and stuff down below in the video. Starting in 2021, these recordings are actually going to be saved over into uh, SharePoint or OneDrive, depending on how you'd like to have things set up. So just a little bit about that. Now, let's talk about breakout rooms, the reason why we're all here. I'm going to click on breakout rooms, and you notice that right here we've got a couple different options. I love that you can have up to 49, even 50 breakout rooms. I'm not going to go that crazy right now. Right now, I just want to do 
two breakout rooms, okay? And how would I like to assign those? Either automatically or manually. Now I'm gonna click on manually to show you how that works because automatic is pretty simple also. Remember, I've already got somebody in my room here in my meeting. I'm gonna hit create rooms. Teams is going to do its thing. Now, on the right side, you can see a couple options. Over here, it says breakout rooms, and I've got another ellipsis. Over here, I've got room settings, and if I click on room settings, I've got a few things to look at. I can automatically move people into assigned rooms. It's the same feature that we just bypassed. Yes, for right now, I want that there. Or I could also let people go back to the main meeting. I wish this was set as default, just know that it's not. I'll show you where that's gonna come in in a minute here. I'm gonna click back here over to settings. So now I've checked off those two things. Now I've got two rooms and I've got my participant. Remember, this is a guest or one of my students. You're gonna see a lot of people in here if you've got many students you're working on. I'm gonna drop this down. I'm gonna select my guest or select all, and I'm gonna assign this guest to a room. Notice I've got these two rooms, and right now they're closed. If I wanted to, I can always take this room and I can rename it. I'm gonna rename this one Eagles, and I'm gonna rename the room. It takes about a second, and then it's gonna get changed over here. And you know what? If I've got a room named Eagles, I'm gonna name this Giants. And so now I've got this to be renamed. And of course, as you notice, as it should be, the Eagles are over the Giants. So now I'm going to come back over here to my name and I'm going to assign this into a breakout room. I want to assign this into the Eagles room. Give it a couple seconds. Now I've got this Eagles has one person in here. And I notice I can open the room. I haven't opened the room yet, but now I can open the room. I can rename it, or if I want, I can delete it. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open this room and let's see what happens. So here we are. As a teacher, you're gonna notice nothing much has happened except there's a green open right here. I can even join the room, rename the room, or close rooms. You'll also notice right here, this says close room. So if I wanna shut down all of my rooms all at once, I can do that. In fact, here we go. Let's hit that close. I'm going to have my participant come back into my room and we'll see what happens here. Notice the screen flashed over. It's closing all of my rooms. And here I am again. I have my person in my breakout room ready to go. And if you notice again here, it says start rooms. I can take this person and I can assign them a different room. I'm going to assign them into the unassigned, which is the main room, or I'm going to put them into the Giants room. So now I've moved my, my student from the Eagles room to the Giants room, and now I'm going to go back and I'm going to start this room again. I'm going to hit Start Rooms, and now all of the breakout rooms are going to start. So now I have this. I'm going to open up the breakout room, and you'll notice here, He's in the meeting, it's all been assigned. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this all together. And right now what I'm gonna do is I am going to join this meeting. All right, so here I am in breakout room number two or what we were calling the Giants breakout room. Again, you can see the participants. This is just like a regular meeting, okay? If I want, I can show or hide the conversation to say hello giants meeting i'll show you why this is important later again i can raise my hand i've got all of my settings my gallery i can start a new recording in this room i think that's pretty cool new meeting notes new meeting options new device settings this is going to run just like a normal teams meeting but now you've got these breakout rooms if i come back over here to the original room You'll notice this is still going on. I can have a meeting here in this room and the other breakout rooms are running. Now, a couple things. Notice right here, I can still share my content. I can actually have multiple things happening all at the same time. I can change, I can mute, I can, I can do all those Teams things. Now, a couple options. I can leave this room and jump back in, jump back out, or I can return to the main meeting. So let's do that. Remember, this was one of the boxes that we checked off when we were setting things up. So I'm gonna hit return to main meeting. Okay, so here I am back in the main meeting. And so now I have done, I've done my lesson, it's time to go. 
Remember, when we started this meeting, we did the security features first because we wanted to make sure that when people come into this meeting, it's only when we allow them to. Remember that setting. Let's talk a little bit about why that's important. Over here, it says leave. Now, if I click on this leave, I'm jumping out of the meeting, but the meeting will still go on. We don't want that. We want to make sure that when the meeting is over, your kids are not allowed to stick around and enjoy this wonderful Teams breakout room. So what we want to do is we want to click on the drop down and not click on leave, but click on end meeting. And we want to make sure that everything here is safe, secure, so you can have an amazing hybrid digital meeting, whatever we want to call it these days. So here we are back in Microsoft Teams. We're finished our meeting. And I wanted to show you guys one more thing. If I come over here into chat, you're going to notice that not only do we have our chat boxes here, but right here, we have a new chat for that giant's room that when I click on it, I have all of our participants. I have our meeting notes. I have our whiteboard. I have any files. And you can see that chat stays. So if we ever want to jump back into this breakout room, we certainly can. We know who's been in here. We're going to hit the join button. I can always add stickers if I wanted to. And there's a lot of things that we can do in here. And there it is, Microsoft Teams breakout rooms. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. I want to let you guys know every single time we hit meetings, we've got videos coming out a lot these days. Make sure that you're on top of things. And that wraps up this episode of EdTech in the Classroom. On behalf of everybody here in the TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you guys to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students. Hey guys, Jeff here. If you like this video, once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, smash anything that you want on the screen, and please leave a comment below. We would love to have you guys check everything out today right here on the TeacherCast Educational Network.